The ability of plants to create their food through photosynthesis doesn't necessitate sunlight. In fact, light from various sources can help them achieve this. However, there are differences between sunlight and artificial light when it comes to plant growth. Today, we'll be discussing these differences and how technology could help plants grow better indoors. Sunlight provides plants with an abundance of photons for photosynthesis, whereas artificial light, which also consists of photons, has less intensity. Additionally, sunlight contains more red and blue light, which plants thrive on, as compared to artificial light. The good news is that artificial lights, particularly LED lights, are being designed to cater to indoor plant growth. LED lights are more efficient in emitting light in the red and blue part of the spectrum compared to other artificial lights, making them a better option for plant growth. They also have higher intensity and are more energy efficient. Apart from photosynthesis, plants use light signals for processes like functioning and growth. These processes are regulated by their internal biological clocks, which are affected by the movement of the sun. Artificial light also has an impact on these processes. For instance, research on lettuce showed that when grown under red LED light, the stem elongated more than under white light, but when blue light was added, the stem elongation was prevented. Moreover, molecules that aid in photosynthesis, such as chlorophyll, are affected by artificial light. Studies found that chlorophyll accumulates slowly under white and red LED lights, while its production remains stable under blue LED light. Other secondary plant metabolites involved in antioxidant or hormone production also react to artificial light. In one study with a medicinal plant called cat's whiskers, high irradiance artificial light led to a decrease in important secondary metabolites, suggesting that irradiance might be a crucial factor to consider. Basically, as technology advances, we are gaining a better understanding of how LEDs affect plant growth. This knowledge might eventually lead to better lighting solutions for indoor plant cultivation, which could be instrumental in mitigating food scarcity issues. Affordable and small growth chambers designed for plants can now be found for those living in apartments with limited sunlight. However, it is essential to remember that too much artificial light is harmful to plants, and if possible, providing them with direct sunlight remains the best option.